Producing over 500 hours per week of talk radio, GCN Live is a world leader in talk radio. Archives for the following program can be found at GCNlive.com. Um. very very excited we have a live show going on now so if you have questions feel free to dial in and if we can take them we will take them in regards to the show our topic we're discussing today today our topic is raising healthy children i'm interviewing warren king a licensed acupuncturist on raising healthy children We're going to try and cover as much as we can on this show, an informational show, educational show, a guiding show, and a path, so if you are choosing to look at it. Warren will give out information on how you can reach him after the show as well, and feel free to contact me directly through my website, nasimaomer.com, if you have any questions for myself or Warren, and we'll be sure to get them addressed for you. I want to talk a little bit about Warren King before I bring him on. So, but I want to say a quick hello to him as well. Hi, Warren. Hello, Nassima. Great to be here. Thank you for coming in. Warren is right here live with me in Burnsville, Minnesota at the Genesis Communication Network studio. Warren has been a licensed acupuncturist for 23 years, helping nearly 10,000 patients, working to treat the root causes. His primary modality is auricular medicine that uses a map on the ear to find out what is happening in the brain and body. He also utilizes quantum neuro reset therapy to clear negative traumatic blockages from the brain, often a root cause of physical and emotional issues. I must say, I have known Warren both as a friend and as my practitioner, and I would recommend anyone highly to go to him for any of the modalities you seek out that he can offer. Also, the show on auricular medicine, we had done that before under a previous program, and we'd be happy to do that again. Warren, would you love to come back sometime? Anytime. Awesome, awesome. Okay, well, without any further ado, Warren, tell us a little about yourself first, any background that you would like to add. Well, I was raised in a medical family, and I thought I would become a doctor, and I was in pre-med at Cornell, when I started looking into meditation and yoga and vegetarianism and ecology, and I just started thinking I want to do a different route. So I ended up studying psychology, then going into acupuncture school, and after that taking many classes and learning many modalities, always seeking to find what's the root cause of the problem and get rid of the problem as soon as possible. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What can be done to help a child's health even before conception, from your perspective? Well, most people just get pregnant and then they start thinking about the baby. But the baby is developing inside the womb and the mother's blood quality and her emotions have an effect on the child. If If the mother's under stress, then the child will be developing in those hormones and will be prone to having stress and emotional problems. So seeking out ways like yoga, tai chi, qigong, meditation to reduce stress, Plus, the mother can cleanse her own body. One of the first things I would like people to do is remove the silver fillings from their teeth way way before they get pregnant, even six months or more before they get pregnant, because that mercury and those silver fillings, which are half mercury, can affect the developing brain. Now, Warren, do uh, do dentists still use the mercury in filling, or have they kind of reduced the use of silver fillings? 
Well, most countries it's becoming illegal. In this country, there's a big push to keep it legal because many dentists are only trained to use those fillings. They're easier to use, so they have to retrain a lot of dentists. So the ADA keeps the mercury legal. But more and more people are shying away from it, not only because it's toxic, but it doesn't look as good as the white fillings. I see. You know, I must say, I, I couldn't agree with you more on taking steps pre prior to conception. As you know, I am a longevity <laughs> distributor, and um, so I play a... Well, I emphasize the nutrition part, as you yourself also do, and supplementation. And if the mom, uh, amongst other factors, you know, needs to be supplemented well. So um, after the first thing, like you said, of removal of silver fillings, what's next? Well, good nutrition is important. I think most of our food should actually be prepared from scratch at home. Too many people are eating a lot of meals out and just get too much sugar, too much salt, bad oils, additives and toxins. So eating out should be more of a rare event. And people should learn how to cook healthy, organic balanced food at home Mm -hmm. and you know you offer some training too i remember watching videos that's how i was first introduced to uh, this fermented uh, foods really and uh, what's your website warren warrenking.com okay that's warrenking.com um what is i'm going to butcher the pronunciation of this word what is this Biosis. That's, and that's how it's said. Is yeah. that how it's said? Yeah. Okay, great. And why is it such an important issue for our health? Well, dysbiosis is having to do with the flora in the intestine and the balance of the good and bad bacteria in the intestine. So many people that I see that are feeling sick comes from the gut. We absorb all our food and we absorb toxins too through our gut. So if we have things like bacteria, fungus, yeast, candida, parasites, these things can poison our system they they can actually tell us what the, if you have a yeast in your intestine called candida it tells you your brain to crave sweet because that's what it eats mm. and then it ferments it and produces toxins okay how would a young mom or any mom for that matter know um she or she may have some of these uh dysbiosis well you, usually there's be some digestive symptom of gas bloating constipation diarrhea okay s- certain foods bothering your stomach Okay, so really, mom needs to pay close attention to listening to her body, really, right? Like like you said, c- certain things and her diet and her nutrition, etc. And um, what is one thing everyone can do with their diet to improve health? I think the number one thing would be sugar. Sugar, when I tell people, just avoid one food, sugar. They come back like, that's everything I eat. I just looked at all the labels, and everything has sugar in it, things you wouldn't even expect, like ketchup has corn syrup in it, dressings will have sugar in it, things you don't, that are not even sweet. So just avoiding sugar takes care of a lot of the most junky foods because sugar makes the blood sugar go up and down, and when it goes down, you'll crave sweets, and you can't control it because the brain only eats glucose. Oh. So you need a steady blood sugar. So when your blood sugar drops, you'll just eat whatever's in front of you. So you have to plan ahead by having protein or fat or complex carbohydrates so you don't crave the simple sugars and then when it drops your mood can go down and then you can feel irritable and cranky and angry so a lot of emotional problems are actually rooted in the blood sugar i see so if if i was new to understanding this uh, concept so to say of what sugar is and how to avoid it and how to feed my body the healthy sugar so my brain can get the glucose it needs, the fuel it needs to run on a steady pace continually. Um, Would I assume any sugar is bad? Now, people come back and say, well, what about pure cane sugar? What about organic sugar? What about brown sugar? Um, Molasses or honey? Uh, what's How would we address that as a guide? Yeah, there's a degree of how it affects the blood sugar. So the worst is like the corn syrup and the white sugar. Okay. And the cane sugar, some people can have that maybe once or twice a week. But then when you get to different sugars like maple syrup, honey, rice syrup, those are like occasional treats and snacks, not everyday basis, but just for, if you want something sweet, those are okay. But best to have sweet flavor through squash, carrots, sweet vegetables like that. Onions. I see. And then fruit is a good snack. 
snack, but could you have too much fruit? Because it had some fruits are pretty high in sugar content as well, right? Yeah, especially the tropical fruits like bananas and mangoes. Those are more higher sugar. Okay. But when you're looking at the difference, especially for a child, they need the sweet flavor, and they're not going to just want to eat carrot juice and squash puree. So to give them the tropical fruit when they want sugar is like a that should be the most more extreme sugar than they have rather than the regular candy bars and donuts and things. You know, that reminds me, talking about raising healthy children. So with children, very common juice here, once they can start juices, is apple juice. And that's very high in sugar, isn't it? Yes. For kids. Some people think that they should just have, it's a fruit and they should have a limited amount of juice. I would say get used to when they're small to diluting the juice, half water, half juice, and maybe just once a day at most. Okay. Though, like when I treat teenagers... Most of their friends are drinking Coca-Cola and pop. So I say try an Izzy or some of these sparkling juices. It's mm-hmm. still mm-hmm. still quite a bit of sugar, but it's, if they're going to have anything, at least they'll have fun with that rather than the strong stuff. True. That's a great point and tip. Um, yeah, gosh, I could ask you a million questions on the topic, but I'm going to move on to the next question. Um, how can the ancient philosophy of oriental medicine help us today? And why are so many of us looking at that? Well, the ancient Chinese looked at nature and they saw that there's energy flow in nature and our bodies reflect that energy. So they, they thought about like eating with the seasons. Like in America, in 20 below zero Minnesota, people are still drinking iced tea and ice drinks and like it doesn't make sense for the body to drink something cold in the winter so they would eat with the seasons and live with live with the seasons and then they found out that the organs also have emotional components Mm -hmm. like grief is with the lungs fear is with the kidneys liver with the anger and they saw how the body was all connected to different parts like the, the liver can actually create a headache so they saw all these connections and how to use f- foods and flavors and cooking styles and things to change the energy of food to affect our health. So in other words, hot food, cold food? Yes. Something yes, like that? Yeah. So like in the summertime, you want to eat more salads. You don't want to cook mm-hmm. so much. More juices and fruits. And in the winter, it's just natural. We have more long-term cooking like stews and soups to warm us up. I see. I see. Now... I like sipping on something hot in the morning, for example, like tea or coffee or something. And I hear that music playing, so, you know, we will continue if we don't finish right here. As soon as we come back, after this quick, short commercial break, tune back in. Healthy, organic, fresh fish, robust, mouth-watering vegetables, all from your home. It's called aquaponics. This brilliant, self-sustaining protein and veggie system is perfect for year-round growing. Know exactly where your food is coming from. Aquaponicsource.com is the one-stop shop for all your needs. Fish, fish food, plumbing, full systems, classes, and more. Learn to build your own system. Go to aquaponicsource.com for a free guide to aquaponics. That's aquaponicsource.com. Sciatica, lower back pain, hip pain, poor posture. If you suffer from any of these problems, get ready to relax. Introducing an amazing product that's been in the market for over 25 years, the Sacro Wedgie. It was invented by a football coach using a common sense osteopath technique. He created this device to help his athletes by isolating and supporting the sacrum, which is the keystone of our anatomy. This wedge-shaped bone is in the center of our hips, where a lot of pain starts. Simply relax 20 minutes daily on the amazingly simple Sacro Wedgie and let Gravity do the work, helping muscles rebalance and start releasing nerves. Sit in the sacro wedgie at the computer or while traveling to help correct posture to finally help relieve those stubborn aches and pains for only $33.95. It's made in the USA, so click the family-owned website at sacrowedgie.com, spelled S-A-C-R-O-W-E-D-G-Y.com, or call 1-800-737-9295. That's 1-800-737-9295. Relax your back pain away with the sacro wedgie. The human body is more than 60% water. Your brain and muscles are 75% water. And your blood is 92% water. Water is vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. 
AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Usually, the older one gets, the less you are able to absorb amino acids and the less you are able to repair the 100 trillion cells of your body. As a result, you'll have less energy, your tissues will shrink, and you'll become wrinkled. An older person will typically injure more easily and heal more slowly. Not fun. However, if you can consume a protein powder that is easier to absorb, then you may be able to gain back some strength, muscle, and speed of recovery. One World Whey is a highly digestible whey protein powder that may be the perfect answer for you. My name is Errol. I'm 74 years old. You know, the taste of One World Whey is amazing. I play pickleball, and since taking One World Whey and your trace mineral supplement, I have more energy and recover faster from my working out. I used to take another grass-fed whey protein powder, but now I'm getting much better results using One World Whey. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit OneWorldWay.com. There are hundreds of silver products on the market today, but there's nothing like the astonishing health benefits of the multi-patented One Silver Solution. Boost your immune system at a great price with our Silver Solution Liquid, starting at $12.95 a bottle. Now available in regular and extra strength. That's half the price of the leading competitors. Call 844-U-SILVER for your free catalog or go to OneSilverSolution.com. OneSilverSolution.com. There is only one Silver Solution. Welcome back. You are listening to the Nasima Omer Show, produced by Genesis Communication Network. Go to gcnlive.com, select the program, the Nasima Omer Show, and enjoy. You can listen to archives and post podcasts as well by going to gcnlive.com and enjoy listening to any of the GCN shows on your smartphone by downloading the GCN app for free. My website is nasimaomer.com. If you have any questions, please send me a note through there. Also, the shows on GCN are supported by Longevity and you, as I know, I, I, I'm sorry, I am a Longevity distributor and it helps support this show as well. And you can find information on that on my website, nasimaomer.com. Just before we went to break, um, I was talking to Warren and I had a question. We were talking about hot and cold foods, how it makes sense to enjoy cooler foods in the summer and warmer foods in the winter. And my question was, Warren, I enjoy drinking something hot regardless of the season in the mornings, uh, be it tea or coffee, maybe not the first thing right away. I like to drink uh, some water first thing in the morning, quite a bit of water actually, and then enjoy hot tea or coffee. And one of the best things to do in the morning is actually put lemon juice in water. Okay. That clears the liver and the gallbladder, prepares the digestive system for food. So that's a good thing okay. to start with. Okay. So um, it's okay to have the yeah. hot beverage. Yes, yeah, so tea, yeah. tea is very healthy. Okay. Some people can handle coffee, some people can't, so it depends on the person. Okay. And so uh, the oriental medicine, as you're explaining, you know, uh, generally people to eat based on the seasons. Um, in, in, your, in your practice or experience with your patients, 
are you seeing better results, generally speaking, on a person if they follow more of this type of a guideline? Well, our food has become so toxic that sometimes it's not the details so much of the energy of the food. Nowadays, it's just trying to avoid toxins. So I think eating organic food as much as you can and having animals, if you eat animal foods that are raised humanely and without toxins and eating what they're supposed to eat, like like cattle are supposed to eat grass, not soy, mm-hmm. soybeans and corn and things. So eating the best you can in terms of non-toxic food. But you can definitely affect the health by adjusting the food with the seasons and with your body's condition. I see. And this um, relationship of different organs to different conditions and emotions as well, um, is that similar to the mapping that's in like different maps used in reflexology or acupuncture and things like that? So, oh, you mean the microcosmic yeah, systems? Yeah, yes. yeah, okay. Well, there, there's a system on the foot, you know, for reflexology. Yeah. There's a system on the eye. And I, I use a lot the system on the face called facial diagnosis. I see. You can actually tell about the organs by marks on the face where you get acne or if you have rings on your eye, mm-hmm. that's like, that's kidney adrenal. Okay. If you break out on your chin, that's the female hormones often. Mm-hmm. Che- cheeks can be the lungs. Okay. The tip of the nose can be the heart between the eyebrows can be the liver. So you can tell by where the lines or wrinkles or spots are, you can tell about the person's diet and how it's affecting their organs. Isn't that amazing? That's, that's fascinating. How can cooking affect our energy? Well, it's interesting. Most people have microwaves nowadays, which is a very modern invention that heats up the food by exploding it. So there's energy in food. So if you're always exploding your food, it creates a very, called yin, which is dispersive, spaced out, stressful energy. Oh. Whereas if you pressure cook your food, that gives a very strong, yang, fiery energy that's good for the winter time. And if you steam your food, that's more of an upward, gentle energy. So that's nice to do more in the spring and summer. So okay. we change the cooking styles to add heat to the food or create more relaxation. Isn't that interesting? Like if you cook in the winter with with the crock pot or long-term stews or soups, the energy is going deeper and slower into the food, which gives you a deeper energy and a more warming energy. Nice. That is amazing. And so if someone continually is, um, so to say, exploding the food and using that cooking style, um, what does that eventually do to a person? I think it makes them more frazzled, more irritated, and more confused. I see. I hear that music. We will be right back after a short commercial break. Are you excited about the World Wide Web? Do you want a place where you can share your ideas and express yourself? Well, dial up your modems and stream on down to the GCN Live Community Forum. Lots of radical features await you there. Wow, isn't that guy? I'm so glad I went to the GCN Live Community Forum. You too can discover why the World Wide Web is awesome. Just go to GCNLive.com slash forum. That's GCNLive.com slash forum. I'll see you in cyberspace. Space. Friend at GCN Live on Diaspora and Cross.tv. Now, a twice as nice Twin Kit special offer from Complete H2O Minerals for all GCN listeners. Get a Complete H2O Minerals Twin Kit with 33 different minerals, vitamins, and amino acids all in a liquid form. Enough for two people for one month. Regular price $89.95. But now, Complete H2O Minerals is offering the Twin Kit for $69.95. And all GCN listeners receive a bonus 16-ounce bottle of Ionic Silver absolutely free with free shipping. A $120 total value. Hurry, limited time offer. Call 803-794-4767 or click CompleteH2OMinerals.com. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HDTV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and 
installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels, too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. We the people grow cotton, we fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carding to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Go. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. You are an individual with your own thoughts, decisions, and actions. So why should you be penalized for not enrolling in the subpar health insurance mandated by the government? Be truly independent. Visit libertyoncall.org. Libertyoncall.org is a bold, innovative alternative allowing you to take back control and make your own decisions about your health care. Mention this ad when you call to learn more. 800-714-6993. That's 800-714-6993. Libertyoncall.org. Call today. Thousands of people seeking home security get ripped off every day. And the home security industry wants you to believe that's your only option. They've got hordes of salesmen out there trying to scare you into signing one of their long-term contracts. You get stuck writing huge checks month after month with no way out. It's robbery by contract, and it can cost you thousands. But there's a better way to protect your home. Simply Safe Home Security. Simply Safe has no contracts. None. You'll get award-winning 24-7 protection. Security professionals watching over your home, ready to instantly send police to the rescue for just $14.99 per month. That's less than half what most companies charge. Protect your home the smart way. Visit simplysafedefense.com today for an exclusive 10% offer and get a free keychain remote worth $25. Only when you go to simplysafedefense.com. Simplysafedefense.com. Welcome back to the Nasima Omer Show, produced by Genesis Communication Network. Again, you can enjoy our recorded show after the live show by going to GCNlive.com, select Archive Podcast, select the program, the Nasima Omer Show, and the date, and enjoy. Today, I am interviewing Warren King, a licensed acupuncturist, but he also practices several different modalities, and we'll be going into that uh, discussion in the segment as well. And um, he does have, we are talking today in particular about healthy children, raising healthy children. He does have a seminar coming up September 26th here in the Minnetonka area in Minnesota. Please call his office at 952-930-3575. That's 952-930-3575 to register 
limited spaces available. Welcome back, Warren. Um, tell us a little bit about food allergies. Well, I work a lot with children. I have a system where I can actually take the person or the child's pulse, and I can check their acupuncture points over their ears, which will tell me which foods irritate their system and which foods are beneficial. So a lot of people are starting to figure out that milk products and wheat are two major allergens that a lot of people have a problem with. There's other common ones like tomatoes, seafood, nuts, citrus, eggs, chocolate. And those are some of them are real food allergies where they'll, even a doctor could test that they react to it, like peanuts where their throat will close up. But there's something also called food intolerances that don't show up on tests often, but if you figure out that they're causing symptoms for the child. I had a teenager come in yesterday who knew that she was, had celiac disease where she allergic to all gluten. So she avoided that but was still getting diarrhea and bloating and gas. And I found out by taking the pulse that she was allergic to corn as well. Ah, and many people don't realize that. Yeah, so people are trying to be gluten-free. They'll eat a lot of things that have corn in it. Some people are actually allergic to rice as well. So there's ways to tell if you're sensitive. And sometimes keeping a food diary is a good idea. You write down what you eat and then how you feel for the next few hours, and you can pinpoint which foods are causing symptoms. You know, that is so interesting because, Warren, myself, I've been gluten-free for now, I would say, about two years. Not that I had a medical reason to go gluten-free by any sort of a gluten um, allergy test, mm -hmm. per se, but I just felt great when I went. No wheat, no barley, no rye, no oats, even though some have cousins or they're mixed in the, together or whatever the case be. Um, But yeah, I feel so much better, high energy and stuff. So I think even if a person's not, like you explained, not allergic to it, many of us are finding we may be intolerant to it now. Yes, actually for my own health, when I was in acupuncture school, I started falling asleep during class, even while I was driving, and it was dangerous. And I went to a chiropractor who muscle tested me that I was allergic to wheat. Oh. So I thought I was being very healthy eating pita breads and sprouted wheat breads and all these kind of whole wheat things. And it was causing me not so much physical digestive problems, but I would get depressed and tired. So children can sometimes get cranky after eating certain foods and you never connect it because it could be two hours after they eat soy milk or something that they feel irritable. So it's good to figure out what foods are stressing the I, system. I see, I see. Why is ADHD so prevalent now in kids? Well, it's increasing so quickly that almost 11% of children have this ADD that we have to look at the environment because our brains haven't really changed so much in 15 or 20 years, but our environment is much more toxic. We have all these genetically modified foods, and often when I'm testing children, it shows they should avoid these so-called GMOs, genetically modified mm -hmm. organisms, which is most corn, soy, wheat, wheat is something like genetically modified, and canola oil is, is a common oil that's tattered as being healthy. I find canola oil is a disaster for a lot of people, and I think it's feeding a lot of our health problems in our culture. Very interesting. And, and to stay away from fried foods, period, correct? Well, you can, you can stir fry in oils like sesame oil or olive oil or deep fry occasionally, but too many of our foods are fried. And mm -hmm. okay. ch children with ADD, it's like they're either too yin, where they're like, too much sugar, that they can't focus, or too young, like too much meat and salt can make them too like, obsessive oh. and, and angry. So there's the energy of the food that can affect their brains as well. So there needs to be that proper balance. Yeah. See, I didn't realize the other way, you know, minus the sugar, that and some other things could affect that too. And I had a child this week that was very interesting uh -huh. about the five the elements and the flavors. She was very irritable and angry all the time, and she only liked the sour flavor. She only liked sour candy. She wants lemon juice. She wants things that are sour. And in Chinese medicine, the liver has to do with sour. So her body was telling her, to crave this food to, to relax your liver. Oh. So it's interesting how the intuition knows what we need. What we need. That is fascinating. It really is. I think, you know, we've all heard that saying, stop to smell the coffee or smell the flowers. Mm -hmm. I think we need to stop and listen to our body. What is it trying to tell us? So, Warren, I digress there again, as I, as I do often. <laughs> uh, what are some modalities that work well on your children, and what modalities do you offer? 
Well, it's interesting. Most people go for like over-the-counter or prescription medicines as the first thing to help someone that's suffering. There's so many things that can be done with natural medicine that you almost never have to use even aspirin or anything over-the-counter or prescription when you can get to the cause and treat it naturally. There's homeopathy is very dilute substances that can stimulate the system to balance. There's flower essences that are made from flowers that have to do with different emotional issues and stress. There's essential oils that have strong smells that are good for putting in the child's room, like aromatherapy or in their bath or massaging. Mm -hmm. There's acupressure points that you can learn that you can hold on the child to balance their acupuncture meridians, which helps their whole nervous system and brain. Uh, Some people need to see a chiropractor if their nerves are being pinched. I don't do much acupuncture on little children, but I use acu- I'll, I'll give assignments to do acupressure at home. Okay, okay. Uh, perhaps just using your finger or yeah. something like that, yeah. just to depress the uh, the part or whatnot. Um, fascinating. Now, in your seminar that you will hold on September the 26th, tell us a little bit, you know, just like an outline what a person may expect and why would particularly a parent, uh, want to attend the seminar? Well, this is the first time I'm teaming up with someone named Janet Oliver, who is an expert in neurodevelopmental uh, issues. So she can find reflexes in the brain, why children have certain behaviors and how their brain developed and how they may miss stages. Mm -hmm. And she has exercises to balance the brain. And I'll be speaking more about the physical health through nutrition. We'll go over like the top homeopathics you should know about, the top essential oils, the top herbs. Like herbs are something that everyone should know about. Like for a child with infections, there's echinacea and golden seal and garlic and different herbs Mm -hmm. that can be used, elderberry. So like my son is 21. He's never had an antibiotic in his whole life. Fantastic. Every time he's gotten sick, we just use herbs and homeopathics. So Mm -hmm, it's, mm -hmm. and people think that's amazing, but that should be the normal. That should be the normal. Like my my daughter, once a knife fell on her toe and it got infected and was yeah. so deep that the herbs and the pulses didn't work. So we should took antibiotics once in her life for that. So that's what it should be used for. And even doctors are realizing they were over-prescribing antibiotics. And mm-hmm. I had a patient with bronchitis and she went to the, the emergency room and they said, we're starting not to use antibiotics. It'll just go away on its own. And it went away. So they're starting to try, oh, try to save it for the important things, not just for the little coughs or earaches. Yeah, yeah. I remember as a child, anything would happen. They would give injections of penicillin at that time in a course of seven shots. So you'd have to go in daily. And what I talked about with the dysbiosis, yeah. that's often what causes, because that kills indiscriminately all the bacteria. And we should have like two or three pounds of good bacteria in our intestines that help our immune system and our digestion. So when those are all wiped out, that's when the funguses and parasites and yeast can overgrow. So okay. it's important when you take antibiotics to use either acidophilus or fermented foods like sauerkraut, yogurt, kefir, miso mm-hmm. soup, things to replenish the good bacteria on a regular basis. Otherwise, you can get chronic immune system problems. Very good. A lot of people are making um, yogurt at home now, too. And, yeah, and kefir, kefir yeah. not many people know about kefir. Kefir is like a liquidy yogurt, but you don't, you don't need to keep it at a certain temperature. So that's something that's very easy to okay. make at home. You just put a little kefir starter in the whole milk, especially good grass-fed milk, and you just turn it over maybe once a day, and in 24 hours you have a whole new batch of kefir. i got to try that. I remember as a young child, my mom always made yogurt at home, Mm -hmm. and we grew up in Kuwait where it was nice and hot, and so that was our typical, we had yogurt every day. Yeah, every every day. Every culture has some sort of fermented food as part of the culture. Like in Korea, they had the kimchi. Okay. They had sauerkraut in Germany. So there's always sourdough breads, miso soup in the East, or natto, which is fermented soybeans. So every culture has these fermented foods, and it's really missing from our diet. Mm -hmm, mm Mm-hmm. So our forefathers and grandmas and everyone kind of had the right idea, so to say. And then, as we say, we've become so for a long time so westernized and culturized that we were getting away from those um, traditional yes, things the, and then it's coming back. The grandmothers used to always know how to use garlic and herbs mm-hmm. and ginger for home remedies or acupressure so we have to retrain people how to use these natural remedies to avoid all the prescriptions unless they're absolutely necessary. Mm-hmm. So are there any supplements or particular items that most children need? The number one thing I find out for all children, even during pregnancy, is the DHA. 
from from fatty fish like sardines and herring and salmon has this good essential fatty acids for brain development. So that's very important. I work on children. Everyone's an individual. So some people might need a calcium magnesium for their bones or teeth. Some people may need acidophilus, uh, multivitamins for some people who are deficient or not absorbing. I, I use something called cell salts, which are homeopathic type minerals okay. for iron or magnesium. So mm-hmm. most people need at least a few supplements to stay healthy these days because there's so many toxins and or occasionally we call it drainage where we use homeopathic remedies to open up the elimination organs. Mm-hmm. Most illness is because the elimination organs, which is like the intestine, the kidney, the liver, the lungs, are not effectively getting rid of toxins. So the toxins build up and then they find another avenue. So they'll come out as a skin rash or it'll go inside as a headache or a mm-hmm. gallstone or a breast cyst. It'll go somewhere in the body. So the main thing is to open up the elimination so the body can get rid of things in an appropriate way. So Warren, just to, uh, just a sidetrack here, but I think it may be connected, is... Because toxins, I hear, are stored in the bad fat cells, or your body might start producing more of those. But why don't we pick that item up just real quick, because the next segment's our very last one. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We've been patiently waiting. Waiting while you tried to ignore us. Waiting while you acted like we didn't exist. Waiting for our chance to be taken seriously. The wait is over. GCN is available 24-7 at GCNlive.com. Navigate through news from your favorite host and download archives of past shows. Download the app on your smartphone or tablet or visit GCNlive.com for instant access and live streaming. GCNlive.com, the future of talk radio. Now at your fingertips. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Hi, Ted Anderson. I'm placing a silver dollar in a book explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. You're fired. According to the Small Business Administration, 75% of small businesses plan to eliminate jobs or reduce workers' hours to part-time. You're fired. According to Gallup, the unemployment rate recently jumped to nearly 9%, and the underemployment rate hit a staggering 17.9%. You're fired. One out of three young adults and one out of two recent college graduates are underemployed. Hello, I'm Keith Abel, a pharmacist and a home business entrepreneur. In 2011, I became one of those statistics myself. Instead of looking for another job in corporate America, I joined Dr. Joel Wallet, the Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy. We're creating steady incomes for ourselves and would like to show you how to do the same. If you want to supplement your current income, replace your income, so you don't have to become one of the statistics, then give me a call toll-free at 866-257-3105. 866-257-3105. You're fired. Don't wait till you hear those words. Start creating an extra income today. 866-257-3105. Everyone says or does something silly once in a while, even very smart, very accomplished people. It's part of being human. A quote taken out of context, a legal problem, an unfortunate photograph. Once that embarrassing thing is on the Internet, it can spread like a terrible rash because people love to dig up dirt, even when it's not real dirt. Put it to rest. Call for a free expert analysis today from Reputation.com. It only takes 30 seconds. 800-831-0771. Businesses, public figures, and professionals turn to Reputation.com for good reason. We protect your online image by helping make sure that when people search for you or your business, they find the most current ag- Accurate information possible. Reputation.com. Because word travels fast. Learn more about what the experts at Reputation.com can do for you. Call for a free analysis today. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. 
Hey, Berkey Guy here. Are you still drinking unfiltered tap water? Does your water contain chlorine or fluoride? Will you have drinkable water in an emergency? The Berkey Guy is here to help you remove these and other potential contaminants from your water, thus helping you drink clean, purified water. We offer Berkey water purification systems at the lowest available prices online. Don't go another moment without Berkey system. Over the last 10 years, we've helped thousands drink clean, purified water. Join them by visiting GoBerkey.com or call me, the Berkey Guy, at 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Hi, this is Walt Augustinowitz. I'm the founder and CEO of ID Stronghold. By now you've heard our commercials about wallets that protect you from electronic pickpocketing. Ten years ago, I created a way to protect my own cards from prying eyes after government officials started talking about issuing a national ID card with a built-in radio chip called RFID. I felt having to broadcast my personal information was an invasion of privacy. Soon after, it was also announced that credit cards, debit cards, U.S. passports, hotel room keys, and even transit passes would all soon incorporate RFID. It was then I formed ID Stronghold to share my inventions in blocking RFID signals with the world. There are a lot of misconceptions out there today about RFID. I encourage everyone to get informed and get protected. Please go to IDStronghold.com and get the facts and the wallet, sleeves, or badge holders you need to protect your personal financial data. You'll be pleasantly surprised that through our direct sales model, you won't pay more than other comparable unprotected wallets. It is as though the protection is free. Visit IDStronghold.com today. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with Principal Office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based only upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. Welcome. Welcome back. This is going to be our last short, quick segment on our show, the Nasima Omer Show. Enjoy it on your own time by listening to archives and podcasts by going to gcnlive.com. We're talking to Warren King today, licensed acupuncturist on raising healthy children and so much more. Warren, just before we went on break... Um, I had a question on toxins being stored in bad fat cells and maybe the body makes more fat cells because it wants to store these toxins. Yeah, I think the body has an intelligence that we don't really appreciate. But suppose you're getting all these toxins. Even like If you microwave in plastic, you're getting all these hor- artificial hormones, BPA, there's many chemicals in the environment, Teflon pans. The body sometimes can't get rid of all this stuff if it's not effective in eliminating so it'll just stick it somewhere like in the gallbladder you get gallstones in the breast you get breast cysts but it may be pushing it into the fat cells to store it for another time to keep it away from the essential organs like the brain and the heart and the kidneys so i think you're right the body's intelligence is mm-hmm. is sticking it somewhere away from the essential areas just so that it can c- continue living functioning so warren i understand um you know tell tell us a little about the different modalities you do well the auricular medicine is how i often test for the physical part i can tell by the pulse what organs are stressed, and what material. I have thousands of products to choose from in terms of homeopathics or herbs or vitamins or minerals to what that particular body needs. And then I have something I've been doing for about a year and a half called quantum neuro reset therapy, which we discussed a little bit in a previous show, which is a new technique that can clear emotional trauma out of the brain. So I do some shows. Like I had a child the other day that he's he's a little overactive and can't sit still and, and gets angry in his class. Mm-hmm. And there was a trauma in third grade of people teasing him in class, oh. which developed a whole self-esteem in his brain that I'm a troubled, defective person, which makes him act out more. So there's a way to clear the brain and clear the organs of these traumas. Or a child whose parents get divorced, that's a very big trauma. And sometimes they're stuck in time at that moment when the parents separated. And there's ways you can clear that out of the brain. Oh, okay. Fascinating, fascinating. There's so many of these um, modalities, as you described, that most of us aren't aware about. And Warren, you've done so much. You're on radio, you give talks, lectures, you practice, and uh, you've authored 
very recently uh, some books. Tell us yes. about it. So I gave a seminar called Love Your Organs, Love Yourself, which describes the basis of Chinese and Oriental medicine and, and diet and nutrition and the energy in the organs. And I finally came out with a book because people wanted notes, so I put it all together. And right now it's an e-book at loveyouroganscom mm -hmm. where it has six different books, one on each of the five elements for ten paired organs. And there's a special bonus book called America the Toxic that talks about the modern toxins in our environment and in our food and how that is affecting us. And, yeah. and I'm coming out with a physical book in a few months. Well, cause the book is actually not the kind of book you read straight through. It's got many pictures and bullet points, so it's very easy reading and very pretty to look at. So at least all my patients says, we don't want e-books, we want a physical book. So I'm in the process of printing that now. Yeah, thank you for sharing that with me, Warren. And I must say, you know, I mean, I love, if I could just read... Uh, what's the word, just through an ESP thing or a, a absorption thing, I would have read a million books by now. But what I like about your book, as you say, it's very easy to read, lots of pictures, lots of illustrations, and it goes by very quickly. So it's not that I have to carve out two days to finish one book because I'm a slow reader too myself. So I'm very excited. And I hear that music, so I need to wrap it up. WarrenKing.com for the books. LoveYourOrgans.com. Tune in to the Nasima Omer show again next Saturday. Enjoy your archive files by going to GCNLive.com. Catch you again next week. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Thank you, Warren. Thank you for coming in and doing the show. And I look forward to doing it again with you. Thank you. That was fun. Why do over 50% of North Americans suffer from some form of chronic ailment? Could it be due to a toxic overload? It's time to take back your life. Get the lead out as well as the cadmium, mercury, and calcium. Extendivite is a garlic cayenne supplement with five other herbs that acts like a natural draino, cleaning out the stored toxins, restoring your energy and youthfulness that we've lost. If you would like to live your life free of sickness, pain, or fear, then Extendivite is for you. Available in either capsules or liquid, you too can see why Extendivite is the number one heart drop available. To order, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit our website at heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extendivite. Many experts are predicting that food prices will surge this year due to the severe drought in California. 30DayFoodSupply.com has pre-purchased a large supply of ingredients, so we can continue to sell our 30-day food supply for only $99, and there's no limit to the number of boxes you can purchase. Our vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar bags. Oregon Trail Foods and 30DayFoodSupply.com keep prices low by buying directly from the producer Producers in Oregon and then pass the savings on to you. Call 800 700 2184 and remember, only $10 ships your entire order to the lower 48. Visit the website 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 800 700 2184. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com at 800 700 2184. 800 700 2184 for 30dayfoodsupply.com.